Hello guys. Um, here we have another question based on um ends derivative fee for a function. Uh, now for the first question, I've actually solved this in the first video. In the first video. Now um, let's consider the second question. The second question here says that um we sh we need to try to find the end derivative for this function. E is the power of a x sine of a x plus b, right? So here is the question. So in order for us to solve this, we need to differentiate. So there is no way we can simplify this before the derivative. It has been simplified already. So all we just need to do from here is to go ahead and differentiate, right? That is, you differentiate this one, you differentiate this function using product rule. Since you have a function here in terms of exponential, this is an exponential function and this is a trigonometric function. So since they are both multiplying each other, you can use product rule. Hence, since we already know what to do, then we need to find the first derivative. And you know, when you have u times v, if y is equal to u times v, we all believe that y prime simply implies uh, u v prime plus v u prime. That is, write u, then differentiate v itself, then write out v and then differentiate u. So u v prime means differentiate v with respect to x, and u prime means differentiate u with respect to what? To x. So hence, y prime means dy dx. Um, the first derivative I, I would have I would have for this, the first derivative simply implies that my trivially speaking, this is u, and this is what? This is v. So now let's continue. Since we already have okay, can, can we just go ahead? Yeah, sure. Let's just go ahead and so I, uh, y prime, which is the first derivative, simply implies u v prime plus v u prime. What is u? This is my u. U is e raised to the power of x, right? Then differentiate v v prime. If I want to differentiate sine of ax plus b, we all believe that the result should be differentiate what you have inside the bracket with respect to x. Since I already have x in this term, when I differentiate a constant with just x, I will, I will surely have a constant, that is a, just a, like differentiate 2x, that is 2. So differentiate ax, that will give you just a. After differentiating what you have inside the bracket here, you all know that from the trigonometric table, when it differentiates sine, the result is cos normally, just the pattern. Then the final thing you need to do here is to just what repeat everything you have inside the bracket. So that's just how it works. Let me just give a very slight example. Suppose you are asked to differentiate sine of 5s squared plus 4. Then I'm glad I will gladly tell you that the, the correct answer is differentiate what you have here. That is what 10x, right? 10x. This gives you zero. From the trigonometric differentiation table, you have when you differentiate sine x, you have cos. So just repeat this back. 5s squared plus 4. So that, that so that's how to work with differentiation of trigonometric function. Uh, now since you already have this, this is for u v prime, right? Then the next thing is plus v u prime. V is given as sine of a x plus b from the question. Then u prime simply implies to differentiate exponential is power of a x. Um, how we um you know how do you deal with differentiation of of an exponential function? To deal with this, we all know that this is very, very straightforward. Differentiate the power you have there. Differentiate ax, that is a. Then repeat all the exponential function back, which is e of what? ax. Now, trivially speaking, we have y prime equals to, here I have a, and I have what? e of ax, followed by cos, cosine of ax plus b, then the same thing here, I also have a, and I have what? Um, exponential is power of ax, then I have what? Sine of ax plus b. 